day two of classroom setup. I'm taking Clayton's big truck today. I have a lot of furniture in here and in here and even the front seat is full. So the janitor's probably gonna hate me but I'm gonna ask him to help me carry it all in when I get there and then I'll get to work. All right, made it to my classroom. Got my keys back, yay. Um, there's a bunch more teachers here today so it's kind of starting to feel real but I still have the same to-do list. Wrote it all on here. I think first I'm gonna try and get all this furniture in from the truck cause I clearly can't do it myself. All I got was this one table, but I'm gonna go ask the janitor if he will help me. Okay, so he is busy right now, but I'm gonna put, to get, put together this table. I'm gonna make it into something really cool, but it's a surprise. So the janitor is busy, but I want to make one of these Lego tables. So what I did was I bought one of these white like side tables from Ikea. It was on sale for $6.99. And then I bought 16 of these from the Dollar Tree, so only $16. And I'm just going to hot glue them down, and then I'll put the legs on the table. So it was like a $20 project. I don't know why they're different shades, though. That's kind of bothering me. Some are like tan, and some are white. Okay, this is definitely not working. I don't know why the hot glue doesn't stick to the table. Guess I gotta go to Pinterest and find another way to put these down. Okay, remember earlier when I was raving about this really cheap table? I cannot get these screws in. They don't give you anything and you're just supposed to like screw them in, I guess, but it hurts your fingers and then I can't get it any further. So how am I supposed to make a table if I can't even screw these in? turn out half bad for doing it by myself but this is the first time I've ever done the double borders I know they kind of clash but I think it looks good because last year I only had single borders I need to redo this one next I didn't even mean to buy this but um it's called better than paper bulletin board stuff I don't even know but it is like I don't know even what this is but it's so sturdy, oh my gosh. I'm so pumped to put this up.
looking bulletin board done. I love the way that looks. I wish it was white shiplap, but I'll deal with the wood. I'm so excited. Um, the janitor finally helped me. These are brand new. I bought them at Ikea. I'm gonna put all of my math centers in there. That way the kids can just come grab them. And then my other most exciting thing, we got this on our registry for our sunroom, but once we put it in there, like we like liked it, but we didn't love it. So I was just pumped because I got to bring it to my classroom. It's a bench, but it's also a picnic table. So the kids can use it to write on or they can just sit on it like this. And the last thing was another Ikea four shelf thing to put behind my desk to hold even more of my junk. But Ikea must have changed things because I know this one's from Ikea and it's like really thick. And then this one is not thick and they do not line up. So I thought it'd be like one continuous kind of shelf, but it looks weird. So now I have to figure out something to put in the middle here. Also last year I had this teacher desk. It was kind of like on top of one of those things. So it only had two poles. But I don't know what to do with it. I honestly just do not use a teacher desk. I feel like it was a waste of space. It sat right here and it just piled, it was just piled with stuff. I always just sit here at my small group table and I think that's what I'm going to do this year and just not have a teacher desk. I'm just so excited at how my room looks already. I mean, it's don't get me wrong, it's a complete mess. I need to hang up all those little balls on the ceiling and then I think I'm going to get rid of this table. Hopefully I'll have less kids this year but overall it is coming together and I'm slowly crossing things off. I had to take a quick break because I'm starving and I forgot to bring snacks to school. So I'm um, meeting up with my friend Chelsea from Teaching in Pearls and we're gonna go to Chewy's and have ourselves hopefully from some queso because I could live off of queso. Hey, there she is. Showing up what? late. Yeah. No, time right? This is out of character for me. Oh my god, I'm seven minutes late. I'm never late. Good thing I have to check oh already. <laughs> Wait, let me put on record why. Is it on record? Yeah, it's on the record. Okay, well, I was on the YouTube grind. I got caught up filming videos, so I'm seven minutes late. This is later. It's so blurry. Uh, it's so dark in here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what I got. I think strawberry mango. What did I get? All right, so I just got back to school and not feeling super motivated and Chelsea peer pressured me into drinking a margarita so my stomach kind of hurts but my goal is to at least go in clean up a few more things move some of the furniture that I don't want anymore out into the hallway so it can be taken away and then I'll go home and make stuff on my Cricut that I said I was gonna do last week but then I left the notebook here at school so fail just got super distracted because my new teaching partner was here. So I stopped and talked to her for a while. Um, I, this is the first day I met her. And we just figured out that I got married on the 12th of July, she got married on the 13th, and we had the same exact wedding dress. Like, no joke, bought her from the same place, same exact wedding dress. So that's weird. We are gonna be best friends, I can already tell. Hopefully she doesn't watch this and think I'm weird, but whatever. <sighs> Okay, looking at this list, I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do right now. A lot of this stuff I wanna do tomorrow or I already took it home. Hmm. I do need to put this table out in the hallway. Maybe I'll start with that. This is always the part I get stuck on. Like, I don't know what to do with these books because last year I used the Dollar Tree bins, which I have a thousand of now and I put them on the shelf, but the kids could not pull them off without knocking everything else down. And I used these, but now they're stuck on there and I cannot get them off, and that's so ugly to me. I just hate it. So shout out to this bulletin board that's way off the ground because I didn't have to change it, and it still looks pretty good. And these are little posters that I made on the scientific method. They're my teacher's big teacher's store. Seeing this door kind of makes me so sad. Just all my kids from the past, especially these little ones from two years ago. Love them. But do I take this stuff down and wait for kids to give me new stuff or do I leave it up? Because part of me is like I don't like the messy look of it, but also it kind of shows a good rapport and I love these little notes. 